Today we're looking at the brand new All Ground Sense. Now, this is an amazing grinder that has combined weight-based um, technology into an already fantastic All Ground grinder. It allows you to do espresso grinding, filter grinding, mocha pot, and a whole lot more in a very smart, small compact machine for your home use. Ferenzato All Ground has definitely been a staple for us already and we've got some videos on the previous models. And it's a grinder that actually I use. I do love using the All Ground. It gives me total flexibility to do everything I need to do at home um, very easily and simply. But when this was released, we saw it at uh, Host Milan and we were just so excited. It actually made one of the extra products or the top products of the year that we were um, releasing and talking about and it's now here and available. So. Let's run through all the changes and the huge benefits in this kind of grinder. Let's run through the basics first. So we've got a hopper which we can remove and we can have full adjustability on our grind. When we make it a grind change, it actually will change the screen on the front from espresso around to mocha pot, and then you get into filter settings. Now there's a lot more individual control there which I'm gonna come back to. But what it allows you to do, if you remove your hopper, is it's easy cleaning because they've got a very smart mechanism on the top here if you align your little red markers the button pops up you press the button and immediately it will disengage it gives you a warning sign on the front so that you can remove the top adjusting mechanism for your burr set and very simply you get access to your burrs so there's no other grinder on the market that can do this now, the one thing that the Sense has is the new Dark T burrs. These are a 64 millimeter burr. Um, they're coated in titanium, aluminium, carbon, and nitrogen. So they're super sharp. Now, there's a couple of numbers being thrown around. In the more commercial side, they're saying four and a half tons of um, use out of these burrs. But in this size here, we're talking about one and a half to maybe two tons. So that's a huge amount of coffee for you to grind at home. Super easy to clean and very easy to put back together as well. You just simply line up your red markers again, drop it in, line up your arrow with the red dot, push it down and then slight little click and the button will pop up and you'll be able to press it and reset exactly back to your espresso setting. Now the other added thing about cleaning after the burst from the top is thinking about the chamber and the all ground does have the removable cleaning chute so you can take it out, give it a bit of a clean, and then pop it straight back in as well. Let's dive a little bit deeper into the menu. Uh, it's a very easy menu, and one thing I've noticed is the touch screen seems to be a little bit more sensitive and easy to use. So well done Terenzato on doing a couple little tweaks there. Uh, to make any change on the um, grinding, you would just press and hold a button. And you can see here we've got a manual press, which allows us to press the button and grind out manually. Now what's different is that little symbol means that there is nothing in the scale, so it hasn't recognized the scale. So what we need to do is we pop in a handle and you'll see the lights go off and then come back on. So it's automatically tearing the handle you have there. You could use a dosing pot, whatever you like that sits on there and you just gotta wait for that process to happen, which is really quick when you talk about scales. If we then press and hold the manual, it's gonna just start and grind out a little bit of coffee. If we want to adjust our single cup or our double cup, we just press and hold, the menu changes, and we can simply increase or decrease the amount of grind by weight that we want, and you press OK, push out, push the button, and it will grind. Now, this one didn't work because we've got no beans in there. So I know you're all thinking, how accurate is this all ground sense? Well, let's put some beans in, and we'll show exactly how accurate it is. So, We've just got our beans dropped straight into the hopper. There's nothing in here. Ideally, we want to just purge out a little bit so that the chamber is clean and ready to go. So I'm going to be fair to the grinder and just do that now, just with our manual. Yeah, 
There we go, so it's all primed up, ready to go. And we're gonna cross-reference with the Achaea scale. So I've got a standard 22, um, a 21 gram basket here, or triple basket in a standard porter filter. We can pop this in. It's gonna recognize the handle. Now, what we wanna do is we wanna show you with a double how many grams we're asking. We're looking for 16 grams of coffee. So if we go back and get that to grind out, you can see it's counting. You've got a little arc there showing you how far through the grind process you are. This is super fine. There you go, 16 grams of coffee. Let's put it on the chaos scale. 15.9, there you go, 16 grams, so close. So we're talking spot on. So we've done this test a lot and it's really, really accurate every time. Now I want to demonstrate super fine grind because that's actually the hardest to do by weight because of the clumps. Now you might see some other people that are doing a bit of a coarser grind, but I just wanted to prove how amazing this grinder is and how great those dark tea burrs are at a clumping um, fine grind. So well done Ferenzato, that's an awesome job. So there's a couple of options with the all ground now that they're doing. You can get the white here with the black highlights. You can get all this lovely matte black. And they've got some of the other options like rose gold, timber finishings, and a whole range as well. So they're not quite available for us and we couldn't get access to them, but they are available in the future. There is also the single dosing option called the Pro Brew. So essentially it doesn't have a hopper, it's got a bellow on the top, and it allows you to grind larger uh, volumes as a filter grinder. So when we get our hands on, we'll our hands on one of those, we'll happily look into it. Um, have you thought about which one I'm gonna choose? Maybe pop a comment down below. Which one of these do you think is gonna work in my house and which one I chose? Anyway, moving on. There's so much more detail in this menu now that allows us to have far more flexibility. And a few things that I really wanted in the all ground. So let's go through and show you a little bit more around the mocha and the filter settings. So as we turn the top collar, the screen itself is going to change. Now, if you just press that button now, you would just start to grind out by weight. But if you press and hold it now, you've got a whole range, whoop, press and hold now, you've got a whole range of mocha pots. So you might have a small, medium, or large mocha pot. And you can adjust these, again, just by pressing and holding, to increase the weight that you want specifically for that um, size. So that's really smart. So quick referencing, if you're making a single cup, double, or three cups, uh, you've got all of those options and you can set them up perfectly for yourself. That technology is the same again with the filter. So as we rotate again into the filter section, it turns green. We can press and hold again. And we've got three options to customize however we want. This is probably a little bit more of a um, detailed area for most people that you'd actually use this because we do do single cup pour overs and we have a specific recipe that you want to do and then your mates come over and you might need to do a double like single cone double cone so it's really great to have that full amount of control by weight so we don't have to basically uh, pre-weigh and pre-dose we can just grind out what we need exactly for the recipes so one last test is to put it through its paces as a filter grind, how quick it is, and the quality of grind that we're gonna get. I've just um, activated the single cup over here, or the smaller size. When you press it, you can see it doesn't have a filter on there um, because it's a scale. We'll just press and hold it. So we've got a 25 grams. We've got our little dosing pot over here, ready and Ted. So we'll pop that under. Again, you can see it's recognized that we've got the dosing pot under there and we'll grind off and check its accuracy in a much coarser grind. There you go. It's nicer that they are looking for that accuracy. There's the grind quality. Okay, so I just went to the middle of the filter options there and it gave us 24.6. So pretty close, a lot of these weight-based grinders is 24.7, so we're talking 0.3 of a gram. That's pretty good when you're looking at such a large um, piece of grind particle size. So the bigger the grind particle size, the more variation you may have in weight because of the actual piece that falls in to get that exact amount. So pretty great, nice and easy. 
you know, it's a grinder that anyone can use. It's totally flexible. It's very easy now to do your um, recipes at home because all you do is pop your handle on, hit the button, and if the coffee geek in the house has set it up, everyone's guaranteed to get a great cup of coffee. So big ticks all around here for the new all ground um, from Ferenzato, the Sense model. Uh, as I said, it's something that I'm gonna use at home, so you're gonna see it in other content as well. Um, if you've got any questions about it, pop them down below and we'll do our best to answer them. We do get a lot of questions, so thanks very much. Just be patient with us, we do try our best. Um, but other than that, looking forward to playing with it more and letting everyone else get their hands on them at home. Thanks very much for watching everyone. If you haven't yet uh, liked and subscribed, please do. It really does help us with the channel and allow us to achieve a lot more. So we do look forward to growing the channel further and hit the bell so you're notified when we put up our latest video. And make sure you share it with the coffee geek that you might find this could be their next option to buy. Anyway, thanks very much for watching guys. We'll catch you next time. Cheers.